name is Hermann Müller. Uh, I'm professor of uh, experimental and general psychology. We do approach fundamental cognitive mental functions, perception, attention, memory, action, executive functions, from a dual perspective by combining psychological process models with uh, methodological approaches uh, from both psychology, sort of more behavioral approaches, but also from neuroscience. We do not only look at normal mental functioning, uh, but also at disordered functioning, for instance, as a result of acquired brain damage. And this links our research, for instance, in, in aging uh, to neurology and, and, and uh, uh, neuropsychiatry. My name is Stefan Glasauer. I'm a professor in the Department of Neurology at the University Clinic Munich. And for the GSN, I'm the leader of the teaching section Clinical Neuroscience. I'm not a medical doctor, but by training an engineer, and I'm doing basic and clinical research here. The Department of Neurology is a big department here, and we have many different interests which reach from directly from medical projects um, together with, with medical doctors and medical students going to the GSN to more basic research uh, topics uh, which reach into theoretical neuroscience and, uh, and, and experimental neuroscience and psychology and all these mixed together. The brain is something which is related to information processing and to, to, to making movements and things like that. Then you suddenly realize that you could maybe use methods which you learn as an engineer. And that's how, how an engineer comes to neuroscience. I'm Andreas Hertz. I'm a professor for computational neuroscience at LMU Munich. And I'm heading the teaching section on computational neuroscience. Using concepts of mathematics and tools from physics and computer science, computational neuroscience provides a language with which we can understand the language of neurons much better. Mathematics and physics allow us to come up with solid hypotheses to be tested in future experiments and thereby allows us to understand the complexity of neural systems which would otherwise be far beyond what we can express with everyday language. My name is Mark Hübner and I'm a research group leader at the Max Planck Institute of Neurobiology just across from the LMU biology campus and I'm also a professor of zoology at the um, LMU Munich. I'm uh, together with Benedikt Grote, the head of the teaching section uh, Cellular and Systems Neurobiology. We teach basically uh, cellular aspects of neurobiology, so we deal mostly with the signals, for example, that individual cells generate, action potentials, and then of, go, of course go from there a bit to the systems level, for example, in my case, because that's what I'm working on. Uh, we asked the question, um, what does the visual cortex do and how do its uh, cellular components basically contribute to the functioning of this part of the brain. My name is Wolfgang Inhardt. Um, I'm the Chair of Anthropology and Human Genomics at the Faculty of Biology and I'm co-heading the teaching section at the GSN for Molecular Neurobiology. Molecular Neurobiology, um, for my take on this especially, has made extreme steps ahead, especially due to the possibilities to sequence DNA in large amount. I'm an evolutionary biologist, so I want to know how the things changed. But now, with increasing possibilities to look at different species and do comparative approaches on the cellular and even organismic level, I'm highly attracted, especially by, by the question, how did the human brain got where it is in terms of size, cognition, function, molecular underpinnings. My name is Magdalena Goetz. I'm Chair of Physiological Genomics here at the Biomedical Center of the LMU. And I'm also heading the Institute of Stem Cell Research at the Helmholtz Center Munich. Our research is, as I think, particularly fascinating as it combines the look at development, namely how the brain develops, how neurons are generated, and then how can we learn from that 
to improve brain injury situation, which is at the moment, together with neurodegeneration, still not curable. My name is Stefan Selmer. I'm the head of the Research Center for Neurophilosophy and Ethics in Neuroscience. We build in the GSN the bridge from the humanities and the natural science and I'm also responsible for the teaching section philosophy in the GSN. We are interested that our um, philosophy students got insights in natural sciences and neurosciences. We also want um, the rest of the GSN student um, to profit on the humanities and um, establish courses which are um, introductory courses in neurophilosophy, which cover topics like philosophy of mind, philosophy of action, and neuroethics. How we can do morally responsible research um, in natural science and reflect which normative um, impact this has on the daily life of people.